What up, Better at Chess Nation? This is Terrence B, and I'm here with another puzzle challenge video. Um, this is day 12 of the daily puzzle uh, daily chess puzzle challenge video that I've uh, been doing. And um, yeah, no, I mean it's you know, time goes by pretty quick. So um, I'm glad you guys are here with me today. And um, you know, let's get into some puzzles. So today we're going to be talking about. We're going to look at basic checkmates. We're going to be looking at defense. We're looking at promotion. Stalemate and vulnerable king. Alright, let's get it going. Okay, so. Um, what we have here, and this is a very common chess ending. So if you ever come to this ending, I definitely want you guys to know how to win this. Because there is a way to win this. So the only way... Um, in this case, black is going to draw the game, is to s stay in front of this pawn. That's the only way to do it. Um, in this case, um, black decided to go this way. Had they gone that way, um, you know, white probably would have moved up there. Or no, white wouldn't have moved up, um, moved this pawn up here because this that would be a stalemate then. Because um, this pawn, it, the pawn that moves up here. The pawn that's here is now controlling that square, and this king is controlling that square. So where would Black's king go? Nowhere. It would be a stalemate. So, um, but Black decided to move the other way. Probably because they didn't know how to win this. We, I mean, which is fine. When you first see this, you might not know, and it takes some practice, it takes some learning, it takes some training. So, because, I mean, if you would have asked me, like, what, when I was in high school... Uh, my first year joining the uh, chess club in high school, I wouldn't have known how to win this. I probably would have looked at this and probably would have done exactly what Black did and moved away from the corner. So, but you would just simply move that pawn up there because Black, Black being on the square was, you know, it was fine just because, um, you know, when Mike moved over here, of course you would either go this way or this way, but preferably you want to go here in this corner, right here. So, and this pawn is just going to promote to, excuse me, a queen or a rook next move. So preferably a queen, just because you can cover more ground with the queen. When you have a board that's empty like this, it's fine to go with a queen. You just want to make sure you don't stalemate your opponent. Alrighty, let's go to the next one. Okay, so, um, so I see a check. Well, I, I see a, I see some checks and possibly a checkmate here. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take that rook, and that's going to put the king in check. Um, the king has to get out of the check. The only way they can do that is by moving this knight here to this square right here. Then you could either take with your queen that's right here, or you can bring this rook down right there. And the king is going to be in check again, and then you put them there. And then actually that's exactly what you want to do. You want to bring the rook down because this queen is here. So this queen that's now here is cutting off that diagonal. When you bring your rook down, when this then this knight comes here, uh, once this king moves up, up here, then you bring this rook right here. The king is in check, and there's nowhere to escape. And because this queen is hanging down that diagonal, this is a checkmate. So um, let's see if they show us that. They don't. But essentially, that's what's going to happen. Um, this queen is hanging down that uh, horizontal. The only piece that can block this check is this knight right here. This knight has to come here. That's when you would bring this rook in. This rook is here. This rook is now checking the king. The king, this square is now empty, so the king jumps to this square. Then that rook that's right here jumps to where the king is, right here. And then that's a checkmate because the king cannot escape to this square. Alrighty, let's keep it going. Okay. So the bishop came here to, and taken, uh, I believe it was a pawn there. Wh whatever piece was right here, the bishop came to take. So, um, what do we want to do here? Because this queen is here, and this is the next move for the queen. The queen's going to come there, and that's going to be a checkmate. Um, I mean, we can bring the rook here. That will stop that checkmate. Um, I mean, is there a more immediate attack worth playing? I don't think so, so I think that's our move. Okay, so okay, so they go that way. Fair enough. 
Um, I would just move my king up. So, again, I want to keep this rook here because this rook is protecting this square. This square is the important square here that is going to lead to checkmate. Okay, so let's keep it going. Okay, so black decided to take that piece there. And this bishop is also attacking my queen. So, how shall I prepare for that attack? Um, I mean, I can put this knight here. That's going to attack the queen. Thing is, I'm also pinning that knight there. Um, I could move this, and then this queen, instead of this bishop taking my queen, um, this queen will just take my rook, and then I take the bishop. And then I would gain a bishop in... Or a knight and a bishop while well, the queen takes my rook. So that's pretty cool. Um, I could always take the knight with my queen. And the queen will decide what they want to do. Are they going to take back? Or is I would just take back my pawn? That's probably the best move, I would think. Yeah. That would be the best move. Just exchange the queens and you get a knight out of it. So um, instead of your opponent having a knight and a bishop versus your two knights... Your opponent just has a bishop now, and you still have two knights. So, all right, let's keep it going. Okay, um, we've seen this in previous uh, puzzle videos that I've done. So, this bishop is sitting in a great position, eyeing down this square. And this queen is also sitting in a great position, eyeing down the same square. And this square has no protection. Um, well, not no protection. It has the king as the only piece protecting it, and that makes that square very vulnerable. And the way the rooks are lined up here, moving your queen here is a checkmate. Alrighty, let's keep it going. Okay. So, okay, so the queen moved here. Move from there to here. So it's eyeing down this file. Um. I'm not exactly sure what that's really going to do. I mean, maybe the queen moved here to take this um, to take this pawn, which that pawn is vulnerable. Uh, it, you know, it, take take this pawn is checking the king, and it's gonna attack this knight either with the queen or this rook. So, um, but what I see is this queen right here can jump to this square right here, and when a queen is on this square right here, one, two, three, um. You know, that shield in front of the king is very vulnerable. The only piece protecting that is this bishop. This bishop is protecting this square, but you have this knight here, so the queen could just take that bishop, and that's a checkmate. Just like that. All right, let's keep it going. So. Okay. Um, I'll see a few things here. I mean, if it's... No, I mean, that wouldn't be a great square for the queen, the uh, knight to go to. I mean, you know, knight would love to get that square just to put this in check. So, but, um, what can happen here? I mean, this rook can take that rook. This rook will slide over. And then you could either take this uh, pawn with your bishop or with your knight. Let's see if that's it. That's not it, okay. So I'm wondering, do you, cause you don't wanna just leave this rook hanging. I mean, granted, you can probably take that and then this bishop is protecting that. So if this rook ever wanted to come down here, this bishop just swoop in and take. This rook ever decided to cross over here, this bishop would take this pawn and it's also protecting that square right there. So, okay, let's keep it going. Okay, so that's that. Uh, White decided to move this rook here, over here. Alright, fair enough, fair enough. So, black could do this, right? That's gonna put the king in check, and then this knight could come right here. And... Um... You know, that's it. I mean, once this rook comes here, it's like, okay, um, this knight is gonna come here. It's going to put the king in check. The king has to um, 
go here. This rook can come down here, and then the, you know the king will either have to jump here or slide this rook here. Well, no, no, no. The king would have to jump here actually. So do that. Or, or actually, you don't even do that. This pawn can jump up here, and then the king will have to go there, and then you promote that to a queen. So that's the better idea, right? Queen. Yep. Queen. Okay. Let's keep it going. Okay, so I see this. Moving the bishop here. And the king. Okay, so this bishop right here is cutting off that file. And this knight is cutting off that. So moving the bishop here. This bishop would cut off that file. So the only square the king would have is here. And then... So you do this first, the king moves there, and then this bishop comes here to deliver checkmate. Yep. Okay. All right, so um, what you notice here is that, and this is also a common checkmate, is something to look out for. When you have your rook on the, say, the seventh or second row, and you have another rook kind of eyeing down a square, um, a common square like both of these works are eyeing down this square uh, if this pawn, you know if this pawn was still here um, you wouldn't be able to do this but what you're gonna do is um, now that these two rooks essentially have a way to connect you're gonna bring this rook here it's gonna put the king in check where the king can only go one square and that's right here then you bring this rook over here then the king is going to go back to this square right here then you bring this rook right here, and that's going to be a checkmate because this rook is right here. This rook is cutting off the king from going anywhere to this right side here. So, check. Check again. Checkmate. Alright, let's keep, let's keep it going. Okay, so um, that is a checkmate. Or not checkmate, jeez. That is a check. So, what can we do about that check? Um, we can probably start there, bring in that rook there. That rook might take, you might take, this queen comes down, or, the, you know, or this bishop comes down. Let's see what happens here. I'm going to move this now. That's not right. Um, because hmm. I would love to just, like, put that bishop somewhere. So, you probably just move your uh, king that way. And then you're coming for the attack here. I mean, uh, what could... I mean, white doesn't have a really good way to attack black's queen after here. So, white might do that. Take that bishop. You just bring that uh, queen up to check the king. The king is going to have to go in this corner. You move that queen up right there. That's checkmate. Okay, let's keep it going. Alright, so, white decided they want to sacrifice the rook, so you can do, you can do a few things here. You could take this rook, which, um, that seems to be the right idea here, because, I mean, your pawn is, is going to promote. At this point, it's just a matter of time, who's going to get there faster. So, by you putting your, taking that rook... White's king is going to take back. And so white has, let's see. So once this rook and king are not here, white has one, two, three, four, four squares to get to. Once you sacrifice your rook, your queen, your king is going to, or white's king is going to take the rook. You move up one square because you also have four squares to get to. The king has to move off the way. You're moving up two squares. Then this pawn can start to promote. So the king has to make two extra moves um, just to catch up with you. The two moves you're going to make, you're going to be two squares away from promoting to a queen. White, on the other hand, has to make two extra moves. They have to capture the rook and they have to move off the square so the pawn can just get, just so the pawn can get past. So um, lining up these rooks together was a bad idea for white. And there you go, you promote it. Alright, one more, one more.
Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> I mean, black can move this, or white can move the pawn here, where it's attacking this rook and attacking this knight. The rook will more than likely move. You take the knight. The bishop could take, um, the you know, your bishop on there, and then your queen could just swoop in. Take that, um, take that uh, bishop. And then you would be ahead of bishop, I believe. So let's see if that's it. Yep. Yes. All right. So, guys, that is day 12. Um, yeah, that's day 12. So we, we, you know, we've talked about quite a bit of stuff in these uh, past two weeks, and um, yeah, no, we're gonna keep going for up to thirty days here, and then I'm gonna get back into my tactics and strategy series, and that's really going to, once I get to that, I'll really be able to expand on the stuff that um, a lot of stuff I've been explaining here, and a lot of stuff I want to expand on. So, um, but yeah, if you like the video, give a thumbs up. Um, you know, if you know somebody who would enjoy videos like this, definitely share the video to them. Um, <clears throat> let me know your thoughts on this video. Leave a, you know, leave a comment. Let me know if you liked it, disliked it, what you liked about the video. Um, if you want to see a particular type of video that you can't find anywhere else that you think I'll be good at explaining to you guys. Um, or you have an idea for content that other people are doing that you, you know, just want to see from me. Let me know. Um, what else? And if you're new here, definitely smack that subscribe button because I want you to get more content from this channel. So I want you to be an active participant of the uh, Better at Chess Nation. With that being said, I bet you guys do. I will see you guys in the next video. Later.